Welcome back, disc golf fans, to the 2023 Philadelphia Disc Golf Open presented by Gatekeeper Media and powered by Dynamic Discs. We're here for round two, part of this two-a-days. And this is a PDGA B-tier event here in the inner cities of Philadelphia. My name is Chris German. We have Derek Skoll bringing you the action for this final round. Five some. How you feeling? Feeling great. Uh, like I said at the start of round one, really love to be a part of this event. And I'm really excited to see an OG here at the course, Nate Cron, after he shot the hot round at seven down. He is a previous winner of the Philadelphia Open. So super excited to see him up in the ranks yet again. We also have Devin Frederick, who has been a longtime competitor for these events as well. And Bradley, we had him on the feature card. Took a bogey on 18. He would have had a five. Uh, so Nate with a couple strokes here. As starting off. A lot more rain. Yeah, weather was crazy this day. So we're starting off on hole one. That is Ooh. missing the Mando. There for Bradley. This is hole one. Traditional blue hole one combined with hole two. Here on the traditional Sedgley layout. Oh, and another He's here. Not a great start for the card. Two Miss Mandos already. Lucas is no stranger to our coverage. I believe we had him on last year's as well. Just catches that branch, but should be okay from there. We want to finish left. There's definitely OB that comes up on the right-hand side. Also pinches you off with the dog leg right. That's yeah, about as good as you can ask for. And Miss Mando's move to the drop zone, which is the blue two pad for hole two. And that is... Ooh. Was playing with OB there. Yeah. Brian needs that Ooh. to... Whoop, What's that? Do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than out of bounds. Nate having to get creative there. Puts himself in a good spot. Lucas wants a good skip, and he gets some tree love, and that's going to put him right under the basket. That is going to be an early birdie for him. Yeah, without that log there, he would have uh, had a lot to deal with over there. Brian already looking at a high number here to start the round. Devin should be able to save his par. That bogey there for Bradley as well. Nate hitting metal there, choosing to go under that tree. Big butt for Brian, big putt. And Devin with his par. Not a bad way to start. Tough birdie. Got to execute a really good shot on your first shot. But Lucas shows us how to do it. As Lucas's skill set, I mean, it's above and beyond out there. He is the type of person who can go out there and shoot two over and have a bad day or go out there and shoot 12 under so yeah, and uh, you never know what you're going to get with him and he is one of the higher rated players here in the field yeah very very skilled players that's going to drop right in oh. <laughs> going to have to watch his head there as he taps in uh. to keep drifting does not 
We'll give it a long bit from down there, though. If that makes it by... Wow, sneaky. Evan taking the wow. local route. <laughs> that sweet spot again. Well, that's just a little low and late. Yeah, that's a par at best from there. <laughs> so Nate should be able to give this a good bid. For his birdie. for the guys and then some tap in birdies both Lucas and Bradley good bounce back there for Bradley hole three traditional hole five here at Sedgley from the red basket or red tee pad sorry to the raised basket this one's tricky. Only at 280 feet. That actually should work out for Devin. It's uphill the whole way, so it plays definitely closer to like 330. Especially then with the raised basket. getting pretty lucky to kind of squeak through most of that stuff. If you hit early right, it does get pretty tricky. That sounded like it hit something. Yeah, and there's, there's that early right I was talking about, and that is basically jail. Mm, unfortunate cut roll, bringing him further away from the pin. Yeah, that is a bogey at best, and he still has some work. Devin putting a little mu too much on that, but should be able to clean up par. par there for Lucas as well so no turkey for him is kind of sailed up on Nate but gets dropped down right under the basket oh tagging metal there I believe that'll be a double for Brian yeah not the start he wants four over through three holes Yeah, knowing that one of those holes, he's losing strokes, just getting par. Still plenty of golf, though. Chance to string something together here. A lot of room and opportunity for the rest of the card to find some red as well. He's losing two just here to the card.
back to the cobblestone here for hole four. Big. Crazy. 19 red standard. Nice gradual good. bend left to right. That was a good kick for Lucas. It's going to put him right on the fairway. It's Devin just a little high. Ceiling does come into play here. There are some branches that can catch your disc. Didn't quite have enough turn on that. Luckily, there are two different lanes you can take to the green as that's a pull and a half there from Nate. Luckily, he keeps that right in the center of the fairway. And that's going to come up short for Brian as well. Oh, oh yeah. What? Oh. What? Still great. Say, yeah. yeah. If you didn't catch that last guardian tree there, that was going to be well inside the circle. Oh. Just push that a little to left. Uh, I think a lot of that had to do with the footing there being on that hillside. Lucas with a forehand, forehand, gets himself pin high in the circle. Bradley is going to get caught up. He should have a look from there. It'll be probably circle's edge. Not quite up the hill. Yeah, he's just going to lay up there. See if Nate can capitalize. Oh. oh. And from where Nate was, barely see the basket. Devin giving it a good bid, but unsuccessful. Whoa, Nate coming up low. Oh boy, we got ourselves a ball game, Derek. That just tightened things up big time there with Lucas with a made putt here. Stress free for Lucas as well. We got Nate fighting here. Brian's just really trying to stop the bleeding at this point. Another tough, tough hole for him. Walking away with a par for Devin is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, he's hanging around. Still plenty of golf and he's within striking distance. Same there with Bradley. Wow. Blender, probably <laughs> one of the tightest gaps on the course. <laughs> We're going traditional red to OG basket. Strong dog leg left. If you push it too straight, you can end up in jail. It's really, really hard to get the distance to the basket here, only at 283 feet. Yeah, a lot of ceiling to come into play here. Even just that, barely touching that branch and redirecting it, but it does look like it gets him beyond those down trees, which is an excellent place to be for your next shot. I'd say a yeah. pretty, pretty difficult par three. Yeah, and if you get anywhere right there, that's good. You can give yourself a good 40-footer. Not a lot of danger behind the basket either, but in terms of parking the shot, mm, don't and that's see the it. Example that we uh, <clears throat> we're talking about on round one, where if you just push too far forward, you really do not give yourself much for your next. Oh. Technical approach there from Devin, and he still has a little bit of work for par. It's 
going to be a stress-free par for Lucas, keeping a clean scorecard. As you see, Brian has very little. Just going up and over. Big Anheuser. Looks like he is pin high. Oh, nice oh. putt there for Devin. Got ourselves a gatekeeper rewind. Devin I feel Lush like it's region. been a while since I've seen one of those. Yeah. Devin's had a couple of those in his time here on gatekeeper coverage, so it's good to see him get another one. Ooh. And some of that wears off on Bradley, and we're going to go back to back, buddy. If you ask, you shall receive. Kind of has like a Clemens putt, at least with the way he holds the disc, or like a Nathan Queen where he kind of like, he has it like curled up and then last minute kind of straightens it out and spins it to the basket. So cool putting style. Yeah, it allows you to get a little more over, over top of the putt. Control the nose angle a little bit. Mm hmm Bradley closing that gap. That should drift great. Oh. Ends up near the short basket position. So this is traditional, what is this, 22. Or 21, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to the alt basket from the red tee box. So downhill the whole way. You really got to control your nose angle. You have OB all the way at the bottom of the hill and right behind the basket. That's actually probably good. That caught something. That could have sailed all the way OB. Oh, yeah. And Nate. So executing. Clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pin high. Love to see it. Such a tough technical shot here. Brian needs this to turn. It's not going to, but he's going to be way down there. So. Tricky approach here for Devin. Yeah, it's an opportunity to really shape something. And with uh, a great roll down, I mean. Stop, stop. All right. Yeah, I mean, that that's looking like a bogey there for Devin. Yeah, it did open up the line a little bit with that roll. Um, has a little bit more of a direct shot there. Bradley just scooting on up. Giving himself a straddle putt, though. Uh, did he sneak past? That shouldn't be a problem for Lucas. Should be hanging out with Bradley there, I think. Right by that tree. Oh, and that's hanging too far forward. Oh, oh. narrowly escapes the OB. Good pitch up there for Brian. See now, he's going to grab two pars in a row. Can confidently say he stopped the bleeding. Love oh. to see it. Love to see it. Dude, we are getting some highlights here on this round two coverage. Really clean putt. Big birdie putt there from Nate. He is taking a lot of strokes on the field there. Not a lot of birdies found here. Yeah, and like we said in the previous round, there is not a lot of room for mistakes here on this green. Looks like yeah, Lucas did get like caught the, up. Yeah, if you missed that basket right there, you are going OB. I saw Nick find it in round one. But hey, if you're like Devin, you just flirt with it a little bit, you get your meter, get yourself a nice little tap in. It's going to be for bogey, unfortunately. 
first first blemish on his scorecard. Like to see Brian here with the par saves. All right, a lot of OB here on the right for hole seven. Really shouldn't come into play unless you get a pretty bad kick um, if you're going to break down the hole <clears throat> in the two part. Yeah, Nate's in a pretty good spot there. Kind of worked his way a little bit up the hill. Probably not as far as he'd like. You're playing nonetheless, slowly uphill. Yeah, nonetheless, he should be able to have a good second shot at it as that's a pull that from Lucas. Flirts. That flirts the OB bad. It looks like he stayed safe, though. Unless our editor there forgot our bogey graphic. We'll find out when we come in for the landing. Might just That's didn't stable up for Brian. He's going to be up there, but not you really. You definitely want to push up the hill on this first shot. Like Anything like this is preferred. As it looks like Lucas did catch it because he threw from the blue pad. And we're starting to see a little bit of uh, the Lucas temperament here on the card. Double Mando that you have to make here. That was a little hard to follow. Yeah, he caught an early tree. He still has a lot of work. Should be able to get his par. All right. That, that might have been short enough to be all right. Gave a little fist pump there, so looked like it was good. It's Devin and Nate kind of in that not ideal spot, but the I would say the common landing zone. Now that we're getting a little bit more into the open space here for this green, a lot of wet grass, so you're not really going to have the ground play. And that should work out great. Yeah, that's good for Brian. He's going to be able to save his par after hitting a tree on his second shot. It's going to be a par there for Nate, barring anything crazy happening. Top of the top of the basket. Yeah, and like you said, he uh, Bradley there actually got caught up early. Didn't he even make it to the Manda. Big putt there for Lucas to save his bogey. side though back to back bogeys there for Devin Sedgley Outbook Outback showing its teeth for Brian. Plenty of golf left to try to get his head back above water. Back nine plays a little easier in my opinion. Yeah, and with that misstep from Lucas there on seven, Nate can breathe a little easier. And then oh, yeah. lace in shots like this. Uh... A little too far forward into the rough, but should be able to manage out of there. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's the I... shot, dude. Oh. With a little cut back out, it did hit something. Otherwise, he'd have been closer to center cut. 
Great oh, tree yeah. direction there. <laughs> Fairway hit for Brian. No flip there from Lucas as his just drops right down. Devin trying to bounce back and oh. is not yeah. there. Catches the, the angle's tree on the tough. Right. The angle's super tough on this hole. You don't want to throw too high. You don't want to throw anything that's going to go too far left or right. Hard to tell. Yeah, when I think of Sedgley Outback, I just think of this hole and just how technical and tough this one is. A lot of undergrowth as well. Hard to progress down the fairway. Oh, wow. Hey. Great approach from Nate. Looks like Devin's, Devin's lining make... up a similar gap to what we saw Nick on round one with uh, not as much success. Lucas, oh. oh, it's going to be a tough par save from there. It's Bradley shot. Such a great first shot, and oh. it's, I guess, a tree kick there because that finished pretty far right. There you go. Brian showing you how to get the par. Stress free. That's so wobbly. Big for Lucas Whoa. and settle down there, Lucas. Does not get it. The minute that you let that temperament start getting a hold of you the quicker you can start seeing your round derail. Yeah, none of the guys here really play in this hole well as Devin's taking three bogeys in a row. Weather's tough for this group. Nate missed. knew he gave up a stroke there. Yeah, missed opportunity for sure. But Lucas continuing to distance himself from Nate and not in the out. right direction. Got to watch out for the other Oboholzer, though, Bradley. Just hanging around with them pars. And like we said, pars good. Moving to the anthill. Great shot. And that put him over on that right side, so his approach has a little bit more of a backboard. Yeah, we mentioned Ooh. in, oh, that's a pull from Bradley as soon as I said something good. Might have snuck through enough to give him something. Yeah, this is a tough, tough par three. Damn near impossible to get all the way to the basket unless you lace a perfect drive. But being slightly uphill there and then oh, it plateaus and then you are approaching into an elevated mound. A lot of danger on the right side of the green. A lot of danger on the green. <laughs> the green is danger. <laughs> As the, oh, Devin so close to getting all the way to the bottom of the hill. This, this is the line you normally see from the blue tee pad. So Lucas oh. right. stays in bounds. I mean, OB does come up there on the right. That is going to be a tough putt there for par. Same there for Bradley. Yeah. Playing into that area for your approach is not really giving you a lot to run with. Even that, Brian there, that's not a ideal. Little, a little better. You got to run this. Do it. 
semi did there. <laughs> I don't think he was very sure about it. I think, <laughs> I think I saw a little hesitance there at the end I of the stroke. He, I think he wanted to run it just oh, like that. And hell yeah, that's awesome. That is the birdie we wanted. And that's the dangerous one. He was dead on right in the front of it. We saw Nick down there oh. at the bottom of that oh, hill. No. And this is that danger on the green you're talking. It stays in. Ugh. Things going bad to worse there for Lucas. All oh, right. yeah. That's a nerve-wracking putt, too. Dude, probably the nerviest. Oh, Great yeah. Putt. These guys are making this hole look way easier than it is. Good par saves from the group. This is Lucas for his bogey. Double Shake it off, Lucas. my friend. But if we know anything about Lucas, the back nine, he can rattle off seven or eight birdies in a row and uh, get himself back into this race. Let's take a look. Nate staying even. Bradley hanging out with him as well. Lucas trying to keep his head above water. Devin and Brian there. A couple bogeys they want to take back. That's going to bring us to the end of round two front nine. Derek, we only have nine more holes here at the Philly Open. I'm always excited. I know you are as well. Yeah, looking forward to sharing the back nine with everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on the next one.